Dear students, in this lecture, we shall try to understand another application of partial derivatives. And in this case, we are talking about the marginal physical products. Now, let's start with a very simple standard form of a production function. And you can see a production is based upon perhaps two inputs. In this case, we have assumed two inputs. There can be more. And in more strict sense, some can say that it is labor or capital. Uh, that will allow us to have a production function. And you know that there are three variables. Hai. Output, labor, and capital. So there are three variables. Isko banane ke liye, we have to resort not to a 2D graph, rather 3D graph, that is three-dimensional graph. Let us see how it appears. Aap dekh sakte hain ke humne labor ko idhar plot kiya hai aur capital ko idhar plot kiya. Aur jo humare paas z-axis hai, jo ke x aur y-axis ke upar exist karta hai perpendicular way mein, wo humne uh, represent karne ke liye istamal kiya hai output ko. So, you can see that these are indifference curves. Ban rahi hai actually, you can see that we may, uh, make these indifference curves, but here is a 3D image. Aapko hai ja and this is ye aise hai jaise Gumbad ka ek chautha hissa. So, you can see it as a visual. And you can see it as a label. This is the level that you can see the output. This is the zero output. And here is the two. And the maximum level of output hai, wo is color se represent only. So this is how 3D diagrams are made when it comes to a production function. But we shall come to the marginal physical products. And for that we need to take the derivative with respect to capital as well as labor. Let us see how it can work. Uh, capital or labor dono ke lihaas se hum derivatives ko calculate karenge partial version uska jo ke delta se represent hota hai. Aapne dekha ke uska expression humne likha uska zyada detailed expression bhi likha how function is composed labor or capital dono pe depend karta hai ek notation aise bhi ho sakti hai iski aur ye jo notation hai ye to aap theory mein already study karte hain so ye sari notations jo marginal physical product of capital hai uski hai using the partial derivative isi tarike se labor ke lihaz se aap dekh sakte hain koi change nahi hai except for the independent variable jo labor hai is case mein aur this is how we can explain the marginal physical product of labor using the same uh, procedure. Now, we should also do uh, a numerical exercise, which partially I will show you and the rest you can rehearse it. You have given this case a numerical example of the production function, which is capital bhi hai, labor and labor, and definitely both are determining the output. Ko. So, I have given you a suggested answer. This is an exercise. And a simple uh, uh, method would be to take the derivative firstly with respect to labor, for example, or capital, and then with respect to the other variable. So, if you have capital ke se partial differentiation, then the marginal product of capital will be perhaps this answer. Dega, and with respect to labor, the answer would be this. So, in this way, using partial differentiation, we can do marginal product analysis.